what happened to Zimele? That is the question that I'm going to answer in today's conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Otachi and welcome to Manifestations. This is where we share, we learn and we grow and it's all about money. So if this is something that you're interested in, I welcome you to press that subscribe button and join the rest of us. The goal, I'm at the mission, is to break the poverty cycle. Welcome back. Kama kuna swali moja ambayo imeulizwa sana. If you've been following the videos that I've been posting on the Money Market Fund reviews, we've been following e breakdown kutoka the beginning of the year up until now. One of the things that you will always see in the comment section ni what happened to Zimele? Where is Zimele? Are we safe? Mbona uingizi Zimele kwa hiyo list? And that is what I want to answer today. For those who are scared Zimele for the first time, Zimele is a fund manager just like hizo zingine zote that you see hapo kwa hizo list and their job ni ku invest on behalf of the investors. So they make decisions on where to put the money. Kama ujaelewa about fund managers and the custodians and the likes, kuna videos I've already explained that in detail. So today I'm going to restrict myself to talk about Zimele. Zimele ni a darling to so many people out here. So many people have put their money there. It's in billions, by the way. But one thing came out very clearly as at the end of quarter one, year 2024, there was zero shillings in the money market fund accounts za Zimele. And the same way that we do not see them on the charts got so many people worried, including when your pesa zao ziko hapo ndani. So they are worrying, is it at that point that we need to move the money? So a very short history, Zimele started in 1998 and it is fully licensed and operates under the regulatory requirements zenye zimekuwa put in place by the Capital Markets Authority. So they have been operating according to the set regulations all this while. And among the products that they offer ni the unit trust and the pension fund. So how did they get started? Nani nini liwafanya kukua very popular? You see Zimele comes in at 1998, so years later they are developing products and eventually they get to develop a savings product that at that particular point when all the other companies were doing money market funds, everything was manual. So it was simply if you want to open a money market fund account, you needed to meet with an agent or you go to the branch ya hiyo company that you want to open an account with and all these ilikuwa ni a lot of work. Then on top of that, most of the companies that were offering the money market fund accounts zilikuwa zinapeana a minimum deposit ya uko ma 100,000, ma 1 million. Most of the companies were capped at a very high rate and then here comes Zimele it brings an opportunity whereby you can actually open an account online if you want to get educated to understand what these savings account is money market fund accounts how do they work what are you expecting they brought a website which has all these information all i needed to do for me to open an account ni ku log into my machine get the information without necessarily sitting down with someone and ipati oh you know you're supposed to do this and you see at the end of the day mtu akikukujia you are not sure kama anakupatia honest information ama genuine information which has you in mind ama them in mind so now I can go into a website, get the information, understand what I'm signing up to. They have calculators. I can put money up on ni ni punch figures and see if I'm going to keep it for a certain time, a duration of time. Uh, what am I going to get in return? So some of those things made it so easy. And then there's an online form where I can fill and submit details. And in a short while, I have an account and I start my savings journey. Then on Geza Apple, that you could actually open an account from 100 bob. That was the game changer. And so many people, especially wale elites, those who are learned, wale walikuwa napenda vitu conveniently, maybe they are busy. This became their most favorite platform and also one of the reasons why it grew very fast. Another thing, Pia, walikuwa na offer 9%, up to 9% at that particular point, because most of them, the average sayo ilikuwa ni 7%. 6%, like ukipata ikona 7 point something percent, that company is doing very well. So when you have a company that is making things very easy for you, simple to work with, like una turn around time, you go very faster, and then you're getting better returns. Hey, utaelewa tu kwa nini, everybody found it as a darling company. So let's come to the point where we figure out, hey, did things change? What happened? At what point did they start doing things differently? I think it will be great if I start by noting the things which have not changed. So number one, the minimum entry is still the same. Unezengia with 100 bob and above. 
signing up online is still the same although the application has had issues so right now the online portal is what you can use to get signed up and you can still transact using the online portal according to the capital markets authority their money market fund license is very very active so they can still invest if they wanted to in the money market funds only that one thing that has changed they stopped investing their money in the money market funds technically all the money that they had invested pesayote ama investing ilikuwa iko ndani ili moveo from the money market fund category to the fixed income fund category i'll be doing a video to explain the difference between the fixed income fund category and the money market fund category so i want you to watch out for that come just subscribe make sure you keep that subscribe button but nikiguzia juju the main difference is where the money is invested so for example the money market funds will allow you to invest in the fixed deposits in the treasury bills in some treasury bonds but remember according to regulations you have a percentage to which you cannot exceed i love to remember when we started getting very good returns on the bonds uh, which could give you a better return than what the treasury bills were giving us the fixed deposits so at that particular point most companies were looking for a way to get to enjoy these better returns and pass them over to their clients and this is now the part where the fixed income funds come in because now fixed income funds as the name suggests he see fixed deposit accounts in a fixed income fixed income comes from those assets which give a fixed income and those are bonds bonds give you a fixed income like if you put your money in at 18% return on investment we in a baki kwa 18% over the period of the investment kama ni 10 years ni 30 years i it change economy and a poor and a chini if it was 18 15 16 10 it remains the same over that investment period so the fixed income funds came in with an opportunity whereby the regulator allows the fund managers to put more money into the bonds that they can actually have more money invested in the bonds than what the money market funds can allow you to So now that you understand the difference between the money market funds kidogo and the fixed income funds then you understand why someone would want to be in the fixed income funds definitely because they want to put more of their money in the bonds but here i kumanisha that they revoke their money market fund license but the switch from the money market funds to the fixed income funds i realized that whether if they communicated maybe they used a means that not so many clients knew about cuz wengi walibaki wameshtuka why didn't i know so like after they realize maybe you may respond kwa comments and you told them ah iko kwa money market fund category iko kwa fixed income fund category so when they rush to go and ask about it ndio wanaambiwa oh yeah 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 the money is in the fixed income funds currently so probably maybe they communicated what wao kuona ama they did not communicate but this does not mean that there's a red flag in the company this does not mean that the company is going down this does not mean that your money is no longer safe this does not mean that your money is fixed that you cannot get it out ama put it in at the moment again you see the bonds by our bonds now most of them the money that you put in in a car there for a longer period of time and that is why i don't really want you to miss the video where i'll be doing the comparison between the fixed income funds and the money market funds so that you understand there's even a time duration limit that is set on the funds that always yek a pesa ikai beyond this duration if you're going to put it in this category or in this instrument But remember again the fixed income funds have to still maintain the same liquidity and yet the money market funds is ikonazo cause right now you can still withdraw your money from Zimele if you have some money invested you can still withdraw it if you want to make top ups you can still do top ups which is not like what the bonds actually present cause now if i'm going to get the bonds directly lazima ni ni nikiesha ka pesa hivi siwezi fanya top up on the same one i need to buy a new one so now these fixed income funds came with an opportunity whereby we can invest in the treasury bonds in the infrastructure bonds without necessarily going through your hustle ya ku bid your hustle ya i cannot deposit your hustle like i cannot withdraw my money until the time has matured because your hustle yote tumemwachia fund manager so yeye ndiye anajua vile ana balance the money in and the money out they'll keep buying more new bonds when bonds zinatokezea mpya they'll bid on those new bonds and the only difference maybe una get here and there is the returns because currently the money market funds average are equal slightly higher than their fixed income funds So we really don't know what plans Zimele wakonazo in place maybe I will have to bring someone on an interview so that they give us more intel but as at now 
your money is safe there's no red flag and everything that you used to enjoy when your money was in the money market fund you can still enjoy the same when your money is in the fixed income funds i believe this video helps you to understand ama helps you to get answers to what you've been worrying about all this time so money market fund account yao is still active their license is still valid they can still decide to put their money back in there money market funds but easy vitu zote zo endangana strategy it's uh, there's a way the fund manager will be making decisions that they feel ziko in the good of the investors it's also important to note that uh, several companies do have the fixed income funds etica the ncba pio most of their money is in the fixed income funds both the usd and the kenyan shilling madison jubilee and so many other companies actually like almost all the fund managers right now also do have a fixed income fund but i think kuna place in a faukwena balance between the fixed income funds and the money market funds then peer competition may change right now back then they were the only convenient company yenye inakusaidia to do things online maybe through an application as at this point i want an application but there are several companies which have come na ziko na applications you can actually get this kind of convenience so in the company yenye ita decide ku complacent ikuwe rigid isitake ku move on itabaki kiblem zingine ikiambia zingine oh that one is not safe that one is doing to you what that one utalia but i want to challenge you to stay tuned because apa apa will be telling you the truth and you get to learn with the goal that you get to achieve your financial goals nataka kuku challenge you check out this next video apa ivita kupatia more insights see you there